good whatever time it is that you're viewing this. I'm your humble and mild-mannered entertainment reporter, Glenn Black, and this is your weekly entertainment roundup, brought to you by Jamaicans.com and Caribcast.tv. Reggae dancehall artist Ayoctane dislocates his shoulder during a performance in Germany recently, but still managed to complete his set. Most likely still gassed up from his super unleaded performance as the closer of Dance Hall Night at Sumfest, the fossil fueled performer exploded off of the stage in Belgium, but unfortunately, the landing wasn't as smooth as the takeoff, resulting in the dislocation of the DJ's shoulder. Without letting on that he was in searing pain, Octane immediately returned to the stage and continued to perform for nearly 45 minutes and an impressive two encores before telling a member of his camp, take me to the hospital, my shoulder is on fire. Despite doctor's orders to take two weeks off for bed rest, the artist returned to the stage the very next night and shows no signs of slowing down as he has several other international performances lined up promoting his new album, My Journey. Fresh from a recent feature in Fader magazine, QQ is bringing the dancehall back to the American mainstream. Despite a surprising shortage of nouns, QQ's name is ringing bells internationally and on August the 27th, the One Drop Sing J will drop onto BET's 106 in Park to be interviewed by host and former hip hop puppy impersonator Bow Wow, as well as performing the Jamaican dance craze based hits One Drop and Stooky. QQ said of the newfound success, I'm elated, it's most certainly a pleasure to reach such a milestone in my career. What it tells us as youths is to continue to work hard towards your dream and never give up. Just trust in God and it will happen. I couldn't agree more with that point of view. Continue to do what you do, be humble and stay true to you, QQ. And now, just because we can't get enough of the guy, more Vibes Cartel news! Adija Palmer, better known as Cartel, is due back in court in Kingston, Jamaica for an apparent collaboration with Vanessa Sadler, aka Gaza Slim, that took place outside of the studio, allegedly attempting the illegal perversion of the course of justice as opposed to that of the minds of the youths that listen to their music, which is apparently perfectly legal. The trial involving the two entertainers and their co-accused, Andre Henry, alias Pim Pim, was initially scheduled to start on Monday, August the 11th, but was unable to start because of late disclosure, unsettled legal representation for Henry, the absence of a defense attorney, and also the unavailability of witnesses. Pim and Slim then had their bail extended while the world boss, known for spitting some of the dancehall's hardest bars, was taken off to prison and placed back behind them. We'll find out more in October. If you have an opinion on any of these topics, share it with us at jamaicans.com or contact me directly on Twitter at Glenn underscore Black. Are you ready to reach the world with your event, business, or product? Our weekly entertainment roundup is syndicated to over 60 radio stations worldwide. We invite you to become a sponsor today. Contact us at news at jamaicans.com. Catch even more Jamaican and Caribbean news headlines, opinions, and general content at jamaicans.com and caribcast.tv. I'm Glenn Black. That's it for this edition of the weekly entertainment roundup. Megan!